As promised, our second resume project challenge is out. All you do is go to codebasics.io, click on resume projects, and you will see that challenge here, challenge number two. Last month, we did the first challenge, which was providing insights in for revenue team in hospitality domain. This one is in FMCG domain. You are solving some supply chain issue. What problem are you solving? Well, we have given a detailed description. We are using Atlic Mart, an imaginary FMCG manufacturer company, and they are facing certain data transparency issues. So you have to help this company by building BI dashboard. You can use Power BI, Tableau, whatever tool, we don't care. You will get the data set from here. So if you click on download button, you will download a zip file which you will extract obviously and you will see all these files now now these files have dimension table and fact table so this is following usual star schema and here if you click on this pdf file this gives you a domain knowledge a business understanding of supply chain now if, if you are looking for a job as a data analyst or a data scientist if you go work in any FMCG company or any other company, this supply chain uh, fundamentals could be really helpful. Domain knowledge is kind of a big thing nowadays. So if you have these skills, they're going to be helpful. So here in this document, we have given you the definition of various terms. For example, what is OTIF? Okay, so we have given simple definition here. Then, you have to look at the stakeholder meeting and we have done some this in a fun way where the stakeholders are having a meeting okay bruce hariali is the director of atlic mart tony sharma is the head of supply chain and peter pandey is the data analyst you want to be peter pandey who is solving complex data analysis problems with ease okay so he's listening to the stakeholder meeting conversation. So you read this conversation and try to get an idea on the requirements. In the last resume challenge project, we gave you a bread image dashboard. Now we want to take you to the next level. It's like a video game, right? We want to up your level where just by hearing this conversation, you have to figure out what kind of dashboard these stakeholders want. And the reason I'm doing this is because it, when you go work in a company, uh, these stakeholders will sometimes give you vague requirements and all that. So you have to learn the art of hearing these vague requirements and translating them into something concrete. Now, if you feel stuck, do not worry. We have this other document where Peter Pandey, our genius data analysts have taken notes. So you can use this rough notes to build your dashboard. So I'm hoping you're getting an idea. You first, Go to this page, read all this, try to get an understanding on what this challenge is about. Second step is listen to this stakeholder conversation. Try to get an idea on what they want to build. And if needed, we have given you notes for further help. And based on this, you have to build a single dashboard, okay? One page, Power BI, Tableau, whichever tool you use. Build a nice dashboard and we want to see your creativity. Last time we gave you all the mockups and this time we want to try uh, your creativity. The data set looks something like this. So I'm going to show you a couple of files. So let's say these are customers, okay? Uh, these are all the customers that they have in different cities of India. And then you have different products, right? You have milk, you have Amul ghee and curd. I know you all like Amul products and then you have orders aggregate okay so these are the orders now this data set we generated it to mimic the real life situation okay now if you have question uh, and if you need help you can click on discord channel here and you can ask the question there are so many community members who will help you okay so there is a separate channel to help you with your resume project challenge now what are the benefits Number one is you are learning data analytics through real life project, okay? And you're not only learning Power BI and data analysis, you are also learning business understanding, domain knowledge. These are very, very important things for a data science career. Top three submission will also get an attractive prize. They will also get 30% scholarship on our premium Power BI course. So 
if you have not come across our course, this is a premium, high quality course with a lot of fun, real life data set, one and a half million records. This makes you job ready. Okay. This course has everything that you need to become job ready for data analyst career. You'll get 30% scholarship on this premium course. You'll also get an appreciation certificate. So many people participated in first challenge and they all got appreciation certificates. We also have winners. I want to show you how people did an amazing job by not only building the dashboard, but by putting that on LinkedIn. For example, Ashish Pavaria, he put a nice LinkedIn post and he built an amazing dashboard. Look at this dashboard. Beautiful. This is for the project challenge one. And I want to just show you some of the examples from that challenge. And then he also put a nice presentation together. See, he's highlighting all the key metrics and what kind of insights he generated. Now, see if some recruiter looks at this LinkedIn post, they are going to be impressed for sure. Okay, and Ashish is probably going to get an interview call. Similarly, Naveen also did amazing job. He wrote a nice LinkedIn post. He actually recorded a video of a presentation yeah. and he discussed his insight, what insights he generated as if he's presenting, you know, against the stakeholders. Folks, if you just sit alone in a room and just learn Power BI or any other technical tools, that alone is not going to help you. You have to learn business understanding. You have to learn presentation skills. You need to know how to market yourself on LinkedIn. So write this kind of LinkedIn post. You know, people will like, see 208 people like this post. That's beautiful. 195. These impression will go to some recruiters LinkedIn feed and they will spot your challenge. So they, these things can really help you get a job. And all of this is free. There is no money, nothing. All you need is a willpower. So participate in this today. Download the data set. Now, if you don't know Power BI, some people ask me this question. Okay, I don't know Power BI. How can I participate? Do not worry. You have to do just one thing. Go to YouTube, search Code Basic Sales Insights. Okay, and you will find this particular project playlist. It will take you maybe three or four hours to learn this. It's very easy. You learn it and then straight away you can participate in this challenge. Now, if you need further help and if you need premium learning, then you can buy our course. Okay. So there is no prerequisite. You could be in HR domain. You could be, you could be a salesperson. You could be a teacher in the school and you want to, let's say, build a career in data analysis. This is the opportunity. This is totally free and you're getting a very high quality learning and also an opportunity to showcase your talent. Once you have built the dashboard, you can enter your URL of, let's say, let's say Asis Babaria, right? He posted this, this particular thing. You can copy the link and he can just copy paste and submit the solution. This is how you can submit the solution. The deadline is October 31. You have more than enough time. Even if you don't know Power BI, don't worry. See, you can spend three hours, right? If you're serious about your career, you want to build a career in data science industry. Are you serious about that? Spend three to four hours on this and then immediately start working on this challenge. It's not as hard as you think it is. All you need is to take that first step. See, the art of getting things done is to act. So act today and I wish you all the best. Thank you.